Hi guys, my name is Seema. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. What a glorious morning it is. It's about 6.30 o'clock in the morning. If you can hear my chickens in the background, I apologize, but wow. This is so beautiful. I'm truly lucky to be here. Yesterday, I did some heavy pruning once more, um, tidy some things up, and I wanna show you what's going on in my garden. Here we have that crazy wild cucumber plants. Um, one thing I did forget to trim are these leaves, extra leaves, but otherwise I tidied it up and look at this guys. It's growing over the top here. Isn't that amazing? I'm always so impressed. This is, I think this is actually one or two plants and it's taking up all the space. I think that is amazing. Now that I've trimmed everything, it's looking so good and it's being very fruitful. I've harvested some cucumbers off of this already. I'm loving all the pollinator action when it does happen. Right now, it's a little too early for them. Yeah, last time I showed you this cantaloupe, I didn't know if I should move it. I still am on the fence about it, just because it's clearly competing with the cucumbers for nutrients, for sunlight, so I might end up pulling it. I tied this pepper up because my chicken got into this bed here and broke this. Um, didn't snap it all the way, so that's why I tied it up. Hopefully it will recover. Here, I got my biggest pepper here. It's a pretty good size. And my chickens also got a few of these tomatoes at the end. Um, but otherwise, it's looking good. It's getting heavy. It's looking great. I had some hornworm damage. Um, I caught a few. Gave them to my chickens. The chickens absolutely love them. So I'm glad that somebody eats them. <laughs> Here's some tomatoes. Is Look at that dew. You see that poverty looking stuff? That is dew, morning dew. That's so amazing. I love it. As you know, this bed over here is a hot mess. And yesterday I made some difficult decisions. I had to say goodbye to a few tomato plants that were kind of in the midst of things. Um, I clearly got too excited, planted way too close, way too much. And now I understand that spacing is almost everything. It was a sad day yesterday, but my chickens enjoyed eating the extra food that I'm giving them, extra trimmings, and my cantaloupes and cucumber plant that's also in here are doing terrific. Let me show you. Oh, I also forgot to say that I also trimmed this zucchini plant and look, it's doing great too. Look at this. It's finally starting to produce and the fruits are not dying off from, um, you know, missed pollination because pollinators can actually get to the flowers. So this was a really good call, I think. Antelope, cucumbers, look at these cucumbers, beautiful, I love it, and look at these cantaloupes, so these are supposed to be personal sized cantaloupes, and they're looking so cute, I love it, here's one, here's one, there's a few that are like tiny and small hanging, um, I can't see any right now, but yeah, they're super cute. And finally, cucumbers, guys. I've been waiting for them for way too long, but finally they're starting to produce. And I believe I only have one cucumber plant here. But look, it's been producing most out of all of them. So I think spacing definitely was my biggest learned lesson this year. I pulled out the Swiss chard that was growing over here and the pollinators absolutely loved it. It was covered every day with bumblebees, bees, wild bees, honeybees, flies. It was amazing, but it started overshadowing everything, so I had to rip it up, and it didn't have enough time for the seeds to dry up, so I don't think I'm able to save them. 
drop some trimmings from yesterday over here. And as you can see, it was way too crowded. And these little cantaloupes here, they weren't pollinated, so they turned yellow like this, pretty much die. Um, I only know that because that's what's happened to my zucchini that didn't get pollinated. But once, since we're on a sad topic of not being able to save seeds, I think I might have pulled up that cilantro, I think two videos ago, a little too early and it was still green, so I don't think the seeds are viable. So, as you can see, I'm learning a lot of things. I learned that you're supposed to wait for the slanted true actually dry out, and then you save the seeds. That's another lesson for this year. Let's let the chickens out. I think they've been stuck long enough. Hi. Ladies. Oh. You're upset I'm bothering you. Are you laying eggs for me, lady? Are you laying eggs for me, lady? Thank you. Okay, I won't bother you, but the door is open, so don't yell at me. Well, guys, that is my garden. I am super impressed of how far it has come for this season, and I'm sure it will grow even more fuller throughout the season. Um, unfortunately, soon my school is gonna start up again, so I will be less attentive to the garden, but it be my place of a little sanctuary where I sort of run and hide from all the troubles and all the chaos from outside. Hi, lady. You wanna say bye to them? I don't want you to get me dirty, so I'm just gonna hold you like this. I'm sorry, girl. Okay, say bye. Bye, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us.